All right, let's talk Nebraska Cornhuskers football. And look, on this channel, we always look to look, look for the long-term trends, right? There's always these short-term blips about what different programs do, but we always like to focus on what's doing well in terms of the long-term, how teams and specifically their head coaches, which of course for Nebraska is Matt Rule, how they structure their programs and how they orchestrate it for long-term success. And we've got a great report out of Nebraska highlighting exactly a few things Matt Rule is doing to really turn this program around. Yeah, Nick, I think this story that you found is really going to excite a lot of Nebraska fans. I think it's showing the pro the program is moving in the right direction. But, you know, speaking of long, it has been a long offseason, a lot of training camp, spring ball. We're in fall camp right now. So Cornhusker fans, let us know in the comment section below today, who is your breakout player for this season? Who are you really liking? Who do you think is going to be the big dog that nobody is looking for? coming into the season. I think we've seen a lot out of a lot of guys. So let us know in the comments below who is your underdog breakout candidate for this coming season. But Nick, let's get on into it. What's going on with Nebraska? Yeah, so in the college game, even though it's moved to being very similar to the pro game, it's different in one key aspect. In terms of training camp or fall camp, it really matters because that's when you set the tone, especially when you're a new coach for the program. And it looks like there's a lot of great reports out of fall camp for everything Matt Rule is doing, running a tough but strong camp. We've got a great report from Clutch Points highlighting that. Mize, if you want to pull it up, I will bring I will read from it. All right, Matt Rule's first fall camp as a Nebraska football coach has been a success. That's what Nebraska Athletic Director Trev Albert seemed to believe, at least. Not long after the Carolina Panthers fired Matt Rule, the head coach was hired to lead a Nebraska football program. Offensive lineman Ethan Piper described the camp as brutal, though Alberts is pleased with what he's seen and heard. A lot of times when you go into a place the first year, you've got cultural issues, the guys don't want to buy in. And Rule said, Trev, that just isn't the case here. The guys want to be great. They're hungry. They allow us to push them. They don't have any issues with that, so that's been really good. Albert said on Huskers Radio Network Wednesday night via Inside Nebraska, I know it's year one. We don't need to be getting too excited here, but the things we control as best as we can, I think Matt's been really focused on that. So I'm confident that we're going to have a team that plays really, really hard. I don't think we're going to be scared of anybody, and I think we're going to play four quarters. That's the most important thing. And Nebraska fans can obviously attest to the number of close losses they've had under the Scott Frost era, and that's a good start. All right, when in terms of a brutal camp and a tough camp, you know, this isn't old school. This isn't like Junction Boys, you know, uh, Bear Bryant, 1950s, Texas a and practicing without water. These camps are not like burying these guys in the dirt. I think what Matt Rule has done here, and there's some reports he did this during spring ball as well, is that he's taxing them mentally and physically by tiring them out and fatiguing them in terms of scrimmaging while also focusing on situational. There's a report from all Huskers and Fan Nation talking about what he did during spring ball, he had, a, I think, a goal line situation. It was third down or third or fourth down situation. The defense made a stop, but he said there's a flag on the play. They get another shot at it. The defense couldn't make the stop, so the offense scores. He said, all right, now we're going to go for two for the win. The defense again makes a stop. He says, nope, flag on the play. Someone got an unsportsmanlike conduct. They give the offense another chance. The offense scores, wins. That's the end of the sequence there. And it's those kind of things, right, that can really exhaust you. Look, when I play college football, those were always the hardest things because the way training camp practice works, for those of you who aren't familiar, it's very structured. The first five minutes, the first period is this. The second five minutes is something else. It's always set in stone what you're going to be doing. What makes it so fatiguing is changes to the plan. It's throwing wrenches in there. It's sun change events and those brutal scrimmaging and those brutal situational battles where you have to not only play hard and, and play, you know, be physical and tough and all those things, even though you're tired at the end of a practice. Of course, it's summer, it's hot outside, but you also have to think and understand the situations. I think that's exactly what Matt Rule has done through this entire camp. And I think that will be huge for them. I think it's a smart reason he did that. Because look, Mice, we all know this the Nebraska team was terrible in close situations. I think Rule recognized that and has a great plan in, a great plan in place to address that. Yeah, Nick, and you talked about it. The mentally taxing part of this is really key because it's hard to get situations like that. You know, the constant, oh, we think we've done it. Oh, wait, it's not quite there. That has got to be mentally taxing. That's great reps. It's almost like, say, on a Sunday, you want to go out for lunch. You're driving around. You see Chick-fil-A in the distance, and you drive up to it. But then you remember it is Sunday and it is closed. It's those mental things, those quick changes to the plan, the you know the changes in life every day. They can be very taxing. They can be disappointing. Get your spirits down. But you got to get back in the game. You got to get back up to the line and run it again. And I think it's really you know just an interesting twist that he puts on things because at the end of the day, the defense it's fifty fifty there. They did stop them the first time, but the second time around, that's the key one because those are the ones you don't expect. You put your best play on the field, 
all of a sudden something does happen a false start something here something there you got to restart can you replicate it again can you keep the mental discipline so i really like that the physical part for these guys is probably easy because they've been doing football for their entire lives they are all physically conditioned for football but the mental conditioning i think that's how you take a team that went 4 and 8 in 2022 and turn it around just like Matt Rule always does into a team that goes maybe 500 or above this season. And they were talented the last couple seasons, right? They just lost a lot of games brutally in the fourth quarter. They had a lot of good teams. I remember they almost had Michigan beat, right? They were just really close in a lot of environments. They just were terribly, they were god-awful situationally. So credit to Matt Rule and his staff for recognizing, hey, we got a decent enough roster to be competitive. Let's just focus on being really good situationally, but not do it in terms of just, oh, we'll just practice third and five and fourth and two. We'll do it when we're tired and we'll throw wrenches in there. Hey, penalty, you got to do it again. Really smart coaching by Matt Rule and Nebraska fans. You guys should be excited. I think it will pay off big time come regular season. 